What are you guys doing? Don't break our concentration, Caleb! Concentration on what? The perfect lunge, of course! We have goals! 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 Hey, Caleb. Yeah? Now that we did the perfect lunge, what other goals could we achieve? The perfect cartwheel. The perfect cartwheel. Let's go outside and practice no, right now. No, no, we got we got to get going first. Later, later. Okay, okay. goals. First, goals. we need to open in prayer. Yes. Okay, so everyone bow your heads, close your eyes, and gentlemen, take off your hats. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this amazing week of just learning more about you, learning about some, some awesome new activities and things, and just having fun, God. So we just thank you. I pray for every single student, every single leader, all the families, God, just as we move forward with this and go into an amazing summer, God. So we just thank you. Bless this time in Jesus' name. And they all said, Amen. Amen. It's time for the worship. Caleb, the road is clear. Oh, good. Worship. I think if you if you put the curve that that way, it's like a wheel, right? So if you wheel it, then you'll deal it, and deals always get to the goal. Are you entertained by this? Right. right. Yeah. Slightly. Okay. Well, you know what? I think uh, it's time for some more safety tips, so we can all be safe.
were trapped in a mine with a mime, then you would need to know tons and lots and piles of gold. I was just miming that you need to be an expert by watching this. Once again, that's mime talk for I left my cabbage in the tree. And now it's time for another sporting tip with sports, sports guy, sports champ. Welcome to sports with coach champ Wilson sports with coach champ Wilson sports I'm coach champ Wilson and today's sporting tip is all about gold, gold. In every sport you want to make a lot of gold like no miss. like like you want no miss. you got it no miss no. Sports. Yeah. sports with coach champ Wilson explode up that's right, Flushy. This guy learned this lesson the hard way. This heavy brick is going to stick. What? You tell me this whole time I've been using just regular old scotch tape to affix my bricks to my door jams? It's going to be a revelation. Don't forget. Really important. Whoa. I got it. What are you guys doing? Well, we're getting ready to practice what? the perfect cartwheel. Not on I don't me! I think this is how that works. Alright, okay, well, let's move on to our beach bums. Oh, let's sit down! Safety! Let's do the rest of you but we don't need like big city contracts or millions of adoring fans we just want to play and have fun together you like speak for all of us bro whoa let's go find someone that appreciates our music we've like played in front of millions but that wasn't our goal our goal was to play together and we only need an audience of one are you ready hootsie let's play together let's get some righteous music bro all right, one, seven, three, two. The beach bums were awesome. I love, you know what, I really like how they, they had that original goal, right, of forming right. a band, all the way back in day one. And they got a little sidetracked with, with the popularity, with uh, trying to wear all that stuff and be like something they weren't. But in the end, they came back to what their original goal was, even though they had one audience member. Right, because their original goal was just to form a band and yeah, play together. just to have fun. Just to have fun. Right. Well, speaking of fun, isn't it time we get to something called a tourney? We haven't had to do anything yet. No. All right, our last game is basketball. 
three shots, the one who makes the most in wins. Yeah, explode up! Okay, We're gonna wing after, Brett see this. I, Michael Jordan. So after all of this, last time, it's time for the bag of names. Okay, first contestant, Caleb. That's, I picked it, so it's me. Yeah, go for it. Versus Caleb. Caleb. Okay. All right, sure. Okay. That means second round is Erica versus Sean. Let's golf it up. All right, ready? Dope. <laughs> Shot two. Dope. Okay. Okay, Caleb, all you have to do is miss this one, and, and you have a chance of beating it. One. Okay. Did you make that? One, yep. Oh, okay. Brother. All right, I can put All right, little man, we got this. <laughs> uh, does that, does okay. that count? Because I feel like you just drop it. Oh, man. Okay, last shot. Got to make this with the pressure. Oh, oh. Almost at the backboard. All right. Hey, you know what that means? Good morning. Excuse me, sir. How much do you weigh? Why? How are you? Yeah! Erica versus Sean. Last, I'll let Erica go first. Okay. okay. What you expected? Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, it was right. It was in line. Oh. oh. All Sean has to do is make one, and he is not. It's a good thing I play a lot of, of, of tennis. Close. Oh, in line. Last shot. No! All right, since they tied, they're gonna go back and forth. If one makes it, the other one has one shot to rebuttal. What does rebuttal make? Uh, do it again. Make it. Okay. Swish. All right. Oh. All right. Erica, you get, you get one rebuttal shot to try to make it. She went first. That, went first. that was my rebuttal. But she she always gets a, that always gets one. You said rebuttal, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah, Re rebuttal. Really? Alright. What's the opposite of a championship? A losership. Yeah, that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, off the rim. rim. Off. Oh. Oh, and line. That was close. Oh. oh! Did she make it? Yes. She made it. Oh! Wait, what does that mean? That, that means that, that Caleb has to draw from the bag of discipline. Okay, final day. Caleb, bag of discipline. What do you got to do? This is a third Belly flop. Belly flop in the pool. Okay. Right it's, now. It's gotta be epic. Bruh. Belly flop. Belly flop. Belly flop. Belly flop. Oh! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Ow! Ow! Hey, Caleb. Yeah. You know, what, you know what's messed up? What? There's only one person around here that hasn't been in the pool yet. I, yeah, Erica has. <laughs> Erica has. John! <laughs> Yes, we didn't have to do it. Caleb, good job on your first belly flop Caleb, ever. Do you realize that you did the perfect belly flop the first time you tried good. it? The first time. We did. Do you know what this means? What does it mean? That we only have to try doing the perfect cartwheel once and we'll do it. We will. We'll do it. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? To learn more about goals in today's Bible lesson, it's time for you to hear from your kid's leader. Hey everyone, welcome to day five, five. our final day together. We're so glad that you've been with us through this yes. week. It's been so much fun. Now today, we're talking about 
goal. Our goal, what is our goal in life? Yeah. What's our goal, our mission, our purpose? What is it that we're striving to achieve? So we're gonna jump into that in a little bit when we talk about our sports hero and our Bible hero. But first, before we do that, let's get ready for our memory verse. So I'm gonna give you some time. Let's get ready. I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds or so to go run and get your Bibles. Digital Bible, hard copy, get ready, set, set. Go, go get it. I hope you had enough time to get your Bibles, maybe a hard copy or digital, because we are turning to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 7. All right, so when you are there, just go, I'm there, even though I can't hear you, I'm but there. I just want your parents to hear you and be like, what are you doing? And what is said, happening I in there? I am going over my memory verse. Now, this verse totally ties into today's theme, which isn't it funny? I think I've said that almost every day because every day? it ties into every day's theme. That's why it's our theme verse for this whole week in our whole camp because it is all about the goal. It's about finishing strong. It's about keeping your faith and, and having a good fight, which means just finishing all the way through the end of things, achieving your goal. That's right. Okay, are you guys ready to say this? I want you to say it loud and proud so that way everyone in your house can hear you. On the count of three. One, two, three. I, I have, have fought, fought the, the good, good fight. fight. I, I have, have finished, finished the race. race. And I, I have kept, kept the, the faith. faith. Woo. That is so awesome. All right, let's do this one more time. Even louder. Ready, set, go. I, I have fought the, the good, good fight. fight. I, I have, have finished, finished the race. race and I, I have kept, kept the faith. faith. Wow. All right, guys. Now it is time to hear about our sports hero. Okay, I love today's sports hero story because oh, yeah. this is all about a man named Derek Redmond. Now, his story is so powerful. Now, if you just told me his name, I probably wouldn't recognize it. Yeah, but if you showed me the video of what took place, I would instantly memorize it and, and, and recognize it because it was such a powerful moment. Now, what, today's what theme happened? is all about goal. Now, Derek Redman was competing in the 1992 Olympics in the 400 uh, meter run. Now this, I, maybe it spoke to me because I was a runner and I did the same thing. I did the four by 100, which is the relay run, but he did the 400 meter dash. So it's the semifinals. He's almost there, almost completed his goal. And he's running towards the finish line and he tears his hamstring, which is yeah. right in his leg, which is so awful because if that happens, you cannot run. Yeah. You can't run. And the moment it happened, he just began to hobble and he couldn't quite finish. He could barely even walk. He yeah. was just like, he but was... he was pushing so hard. He was trying so hard to get to the end. And you know what happened in that moment? His father ran out onto the track right next to his son, grabbed him by the waist and helped him from keeping his, from damaging his body any, anymore. And you could just see Derek is just in tears. Yeah. He's so frustrated because his goal is so close to being in front of him and he just, he, he lost it. Yeah. And so his dad grabs him and just begins to carry him down to the finish line. Such a powerful moment. It is so powerful. Yeah. And, and the thing that's powerful about it is that sometimes we feel like we're exhausted and we can't finish. But you know what? There's a God up there who loves us and wants to come alongside us and give us the support so that way we can reach our goals. That's right. And he supported his son mm -hmm. all the way to the finish line. Yeah. With that emotional response, Derek's dad, Jim, unintentionally reminded all of those watching that it's not always just about winning. Yeah. Derek's dad helped him to reach his goal, which was the finish line. Derek's goal said, hey, I want to reach the finish line. Yeah. I might not be first, I might not be second, I just want to but finish. But to say that you finished in the Olympics yeah. is huge. It's amazing. Well, the fact that you made it to the Olympics yeah. is huge. And then the fact that you can finish. Yeah. And so just know that God can always and will always come alongside and support us as we pursue our goals. When we do things in the name of Jesus, when we run and, and just give credit to God for all of the skills and abilities that we have, He's gonna come alongside us just like Derek's father did in this run, and he's gonna help us to achieve our goals. Nothing holds us back when we have God on our side, and when we ask him to use our skills for him, he's gonna be with us right until the end. So I wanna encourage all of you guys that whatever skills and yeah. abilities you have, whatever goal you've set before you in life, 
Give it to the Lord. Do it for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank God every day. Give him credit for all of the achievements that you have, and he's going to come alongside you as you achieve your goals. So for today's Bible story, we are going to wrap up on David's life. You know, he had a lot of trials and tribulations, mm -hmm, but you know what? He persevered and he met his goal. And how he did that is he was disciplined. He, he was disciplined on learning the heart. He was disciplined with his walk with God. Yep. And he was disciplined on learning how to use the slingshot. Next, he had drive. Mm -hmm. He, no matter what happened, he knew where he was going. Yep. And that was following God to the end. And so with that drive, he was able to get there. And on top of that, he had a great attitude. Yeah, awesome attitude. Even when he had giants facing him. He Literally. He had a great, great attitude, yeah. Yeah, I mean, a nine foot giant, he could have had a bad attitude mm -hmm. through it, but you know what? He decided to have a good attitude and trust in God. And on, you can't have a good attitude without being focused. Yep. And David was focused. He never lost focus on pleasing God. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, he reached his goal and he became king all because he trusted and followed God. And through that, David was able to pave the way for Jesus, he became king, and then later, the king of kings was born. Yep. Whatever your goal is in life, we want to challenge you, just like David. David's goal was to just go after God's heart, to yeah. be a man after God's heart. And that's what God called him, a man after my own heart. Mm -hmm. And if you are like us, we just want to please God and live our life to the fullest and the best of our abilities, doing it all for the Lord. And if that's your goal, I want you to join us as we continue to, to practice these things that we've learned about this past week. Discipline, drive, focus, having a great attitude, and by doing all of those things, we're going to meet our goal. goal of just having a great relationship with Jesus and impacting this world yeah. with his love. And our world needs his love so, so much. So thank you so much for joining us this whole week. We love you all. We're praying for you. Can't wait to see you at our Zoom call. We'll see you soon. The perfect cartwheel. Perfect you cartwheel. Go first. Let's go. Perfect cartwheel! Alright, my turn. Here we go. Perfect cartwheel! Perfect! Yeah! Goal! Goal! Oh yeah! So kids, uh, if you need any cartwheel lessons next year, uh, speaking of lessons, it's Excuse time. Excuse me, wait a second. Yes? Goals. It's time for your last lesson of the week. <laughs>